So, how did you like the restaurant? Actually, it could have been better. What didn't you like about it? It is a new restaurant. I don't think they have their act together yet. What did you think about the food? I felt that the food was pretty mediocre. The service wasn't that great either. I agree. The service was not good. Do you think that you want to try this restaurant another time? No, I think I've had enough of this restaurant. So how did you like the restaurant? I thought it was very good. I felt the food was excellent. What did you like the best? I like the fish the best. I like the fish also, but I really enjoyed the dessert the most. Yes, the macadamia cakes were wonderful. Wasn't the service top notch? Yes, the waiter was very attentive. I hope to be able to come back to this restaurant soon. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like anything on it? I would like everything on it, thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure. How about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all. Thanks. You're welcome. And your total is five dollars and forty-eight cents. Thank you. Here you go. Hey Devin, have you thought about where you'd like to go to dinner on Friday for your birthday? I am not sure. I don't know that many restaurants around here. You know, we could look online at the local internet sites. Good. Let's take a look. What kind of food would you like? I enjoy Thai or Japanese the best. This one, Shogun, looks good. Oh yes, I've heard of that one. Everybody I've spoken with says it's great. Would you like to go there then? I think that that would be a really good choice. Let's call and make a reservation. What a wonderful dinner! Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Where did you get your fantastic recipes? I grew up cooking. My mother shared her recipes with me. I especially like the wonderful chicken dish. That is a special coconut ginger chicken with rice dish. Is that shrimp in the soup? Yes. Do you like it? I added a little extra lemongrass and some sea vegetables. I am happy that the wine I brought for you works well with this meal. Yes, thank you for bringing the wine. It really complements the meal. Hey, Georgie, how is your chicken? My chicken tastes all right, but it is pretty dry. How is your fish? My fish is pretty dry too. It's almost as if this food has been sitting a little too long. It doesn't seem fresh. Yes, it seems that way to me also. How are your vegetables? My vegetables are soggy. Mine are the same way. It seems like they've been overcooked. I don't usually complain, but I think we should mention this to the waiter. I agree. Maybe they can bring us some better food. Have you had enough time to look over the menu? Yes, we are almost ready to order. Let me remind you of the specials of the day, which are posted on the board. Oh, that all sounds so good! Can we get the sauce on the side? Yes, we would be happy to prepare the food to meet your special needs. I was wondering if you have any vegetarian choices. Yes, the roasted vegetable salad is good, and the portobello mushroom burger is also a good choice. I think that I would like to order the broccoli noodles, please. That's an excellent choice, and I could bring you your salads now, or bring them with your dinner. Please bring our salads to us now. We are hungry. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Shay Attitude. We have a dinner reservation for four at seven, in the name of Foster. Yes, Mr. Foster. If you would please be seated over in the waiting area, our hostess will be with you in a moment. Thank you. Would it be okay if we have a cocktail while we are waiting? Of course, I will tell her. I would really prefer an outside table. Would that be possible? Sure. If you would like one of those tables, I could seat you right away. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Here are your menus and the wine menu. And would you like to order your drinks now? Yes, I would like a vodka gimlet, please. Sure, no problem, sir. Thank you very much. Do you want some dessert? No, thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Where is our waitress anyway? Yes, the service hasn't been the best. Is that our waitress over there? 
I'll walk over and get the bill, since I don't think the waitress is coming over here anytime soon. Good idea. Just bring it back and we'll figure it out together. So, the bill is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? My first inclination is to leave nothing for a tip. I agree, but we don't really know the whole story. There may have been problems in the kitchen beyond her control. Let's leave 10%, so we at least leave something for the service. I agree. We will leave $3.60 for the tip. Hey, Bill, what are you doing on the 4th of July? Hi, Jeff. My family and I are going to the park to watch the fireworks. The park? We do that every year. It has become our annual family tradition. That's a great tradition. Does it get crowded there? Yes, it gets very crowded. So we leave early and just hang out at the park all day. Is there parking available? Yes, but it is very limited. What time do you get there? We usually go around 4 p.m. The fireworks show starts around 6 p.m. Do you take your dog? No, he doesn't like loud noises. It scares him. A couple of years ago, he ran away during the fireworks show. That's terrible. Poor dog. So now we leave him with my parents on the 4th of July. Their neighborhood is very quiet. Your parents don't like fireworks? Not anymore. They say it's too loud. Their neighborhood does not allow fireworks. Why? They say it's too loud and dangerous. Oh, I understand. That's why I watch the fireworks on TV. That's a quiet and safe place to watch them. Hi, Sally. What are you doing here? Hey, Susie. I need to buy my sister a new necklace. I accidentally lost her necklace, and she is really mad at me now. But you said it was an accident. Yeah, but I didn't ask if I could borrow it. Oh, that's not good. She wasn't home, and it looked nice with my outfit, so I wore it. That's like stealing. I know. I feel terrible. I was going to put it back when I got home. How did you lose it? I don't know. I was on my way home, and I noticed it was gone. Was it an expensive necklace? I don't know. I'm looking for a replacement here. What does it look like? It's a gold butterfly. Like this one? That's it. That's exactly like hers. How much is it? The price tag says $100. Wow, that's expensive. Now I see why she was really mad. Are you going to buy it? Yeah. That's all the money I have until my next paycheck. Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. When did you have the conversation? I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. Can I help you? Thanks. We're just looking. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. What do you think of these jeans? They're really nice. How much are they? Hmm. There's no price tag. Where's the salesperson? I'm going to ask her. Oh, there she is. Excuse me. How much are these jeans? 
I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, let's see. They were $29, but I think today they're 30% off. Yes, that's right. They're about $20. That's a good price for these jeans. Can I try them on? Sure. The fitting rooms are right over there. Just go on in. Thanks a lot. Lynn, how do they look? Oh, Jim, they're too big. I'll get you a smaller size. Wait a minute. Here, try these. Thanks. Yeah, I think these are better. How do they look? They're perfect. Oh, they look very nice on you. Great. I'll take them. I'm so glad there is no school on Monday. Me too, but why do we have that day off? You don't know? No, why, Sam? It's Memorial Day. This is the day we remember the people who died serving in the United States military. Wow, I didn't know that. It's an important day. It's not just a day off from school and work. I see. Is it always in May? Yeah, it's always observed on the last Monday in May. I just thought it was another day off from school. I'm glad to know what this day means now. It's really important in our family. My grandfather and great-grandfather both served in the United States Army. They both died serving this country. Do you do anything special on this day? Each year my family and I go to the cemetery and place flowers on their graves. I've never been to a cemetery before. Is it scary? No, we go every year, so it's not scary anymore. Do all schools close on this day? I think so, but only in the United States. It's an American holiday. Some businesses like post offices and banks close too. Thanks for telling me what Memorial Day means. I'm going to go home and ask my brother if he knows. Hey, Steve. My family and I want to do something fun this weekend. Do you have any suggestions? The weather is going to be nice. You should do something outdoors. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny all weekend. How about a picnic at the park? We do that often. I want to do something more fun. How about the city zoo? I heard that bear cubs were recently born there. That's a good idea. We haven't been to the zoo in a long time. Then you should definitely go this weekend. The last time we were there, it started raining. None of the animals wanted to come out. That must have been boring. It was boring. The kids wanted to go home early. The animals should be more visible since the weather is going to be sunny this weekend. Yeah, I think we will go to the zoo. Hopefully this time it'll be more fun. Actually, I have four tickets to the zoo. You can have them. Our family won't be able to go. The tickets expire this weekend. Thanks, Steve. Let me pay you for them. Zoo tickets are expensive. Don't worry about it. It's my gift to you since your last visit was not fun. Are you sure? This is very generous of you. Also, you mowed my lawn a few times after I had back surgery last year. I really appreciated that. I'm glad we're neighbors. Hey, Stan. Do you know any good mechanics around here? Yeah. I use a really good one. What's wrong with your car? I'm not sure. I think there is a problem with my transmission. Transmission problems can be very expensive. I know. I took it to an auto shop yesterday, and it was so expensive. I'm looking for someone cheaper, but who can still do a good job. You should go to my mechanic. You can trust him, and his repair costs are pretty reasonable. Is he close to us? His shop is just a few blocks away. That's good. I hope I don't have to replace the transmission. That will be really expensive. I know. I had to replace the transmission on my old car. The repair cost more than the price of the car. That's crazy. If my repair costs too much, I'm just going to buy a new car. Can you afford a new car? No. I would have to buy a used car. Let me get my mechanic's phone number. You can decide what you want to do after he takes a look at your car. Thanks. I can give you a ride home if you need to leave your car there. If it's only a few blocks away, I'll walk.
If my car is too expensive to fix, I better get used to walking. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Right. Bye. Hmm. Who was that? Yeah, someone special. That was Michelle, a really nice guy in my computer science class. He asked me out. I accepted, so... So, one phone call and now you have a boyfriend? Oh, come on, Alicia. He's not my boyfriend, yet. Well, it sounds nice. I need my parents' permission to go out on a date with a boy. Yeah, one of my friends here at the college is from India, and he says, in his country, parents used to arrange all dates, and marriages too, and sometimes they still do. Wow, that's interesting. Hmm, Lee, you said your friend is from India? That's right. And your friend is a guy, right? Yes, his name is Varun. Well, a girlfriend of mine in my math class is from India, too. Her name is Parvina. Do you think Varun would like to meet her? You mean on a date? Sure, why not? That's a great idea, Alicia. I don't know. Maybe they need their parents' permission. Oh, come on, Lee. Okay, okay. I don't know why you want to be a matchmaker, but I'll ask Varun. Great, and I'll call Parvina. Come in. Hi, Alicia. How's it going? Hi, Lee. I'm fine, but busy. What are you doing? I'm making a sign for Earth Day. Earth Day? What's that? On Earth Day, people think about pollution and other problems with the environment. Really? When is Earth Day? Next Monday. And is it every year? Yes, it is. The first Earth Day was in 1970, and it now happens every year on April 22nd. On that day, people talk and learn about problems with the environment. Like how? Well, one year, thousands of people came to Washington, D.C. to support clean energy. In Italy, 150 towns and cities had car-less weekends when nobody could drive. You mean Earth Day happens all over the world? Yes, it sure does. Earth Day happens in many countries. And what's going on here at the college? There's a lot happening at the college. At the Student Union, there will be exhibits on pollution. Students will also plant some trees around the college campus. So what are you planning to do on Earth Day? I'm planning to give a speech about pollution. Also, I'm going to carry this sign. What does it say? Save the Earth. That's great, Alicia. Can I go with you and help? I want to help the environment, too. Sure, Lee. Would you like to carry a sign, too? Yes, I sure would. Hello. Can I start you off with anything to drink? Yes. May I have some water, please? Sure. Would you like any appetizers today? May I get an order of barbecue wings? No problem. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you. That'll be all for now. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to order your food. I'm ready. Okay. What can I get you? May I have the fettuccine Alfredo? Ah, uh, will that be all? Yes, that's it. Hi, I'm your waitress, Mary. Hello, Mary. We're all pretty hungry tonight. While you're looking over the menu, can I interest you in an appetizer? An appetizer sounds good. Do you have a special menu? They are listed on the first page of the menu. The coconut shrimp looks good. Have you ever had that? Yes, it is excellent. Good, I'll take that then. Would you like to split that and choose another appetizer for half price to share? Good, in that case... We'll also take an order of onion rings. Thank you. Hello, Shogun Restaurant. Hi, I would like to make a dinner reservation. Of course. What evening will you be joining us on? We will need the reservation for Tuesday night. What time would you like the reservation for? We would prefer 7 or 7.30. For how many people? Mm, there will be four of us. 
Fine. I can seat you at 7 on Tuesday. If you would kindly give me your name. Thank you. The last name is Foster. See you at 7 this Tuesday, Mr. Foster. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. May I take your drink order while you're looking over the menu? Yes. Do you have a wine list? The wine list is on the second page of our menu. Do you have mixed drinks in this restaurant? Yes, we have a full bar here. I am not sure what I want. Do you have any house specials? Actually, we are famous for our Cuervo Gold Margaritas. Mmm, that sounds good. Please bring me one of those. Would you like that drink blended or on the rocks? I would like it blended. Would you like it with salt or no salt? I would like my margarita, no salt. Thank you. Well, here's your breakfast. Thanks so much. Um, miss, I believe I ordered my eggs scrambled and these are fried. Sorry, your friend over there ordered fried eggs and I gave you his by mistake. Oh, yeah. Here, I will just trade with him. Here are your pancakes, ma'am. But I ordered waffles. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I will eat my eggs and bacon and you can take my pancakes back. Good. Ma'am, I will take care of that right away. Thank you so much. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, we really enjoyed it. May I interest you in some dessert? Yes, that sounds great. Well, we have chocolate mousse cake, homemade fresh strawberry shortcake, and a spicy rum apple crisp for our specials. The apple crisp sounds great. Since there are four of you, would you like to split a second dessert? Good suggestion. Could you please bring us a chocolate mousse cake and four dessert forks, please? Would you like coffee or tea with your dessert? Let's have four coffees, please. Okay, I will be right back with your desserts and drinks. Thank you. We have really enjoyed our meal here. Do you want some dessert? No, thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Oh, here comes our waitress with our check. The service here has been really great, don't you think? Yes, the service was quite good. So, let's look at the check. The total is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? Usually, people leave 15%, but this was exceptional service. I'm thinking that maybe 20% would be appropriate. I agree that 20% would be just about right. Okay, so that will bring her tip to $7.20. Add it to the 36 and the total is $43.20. Yes. What a nice dinner this was. Well, we'll have to make sure to come back here again real soon. What are you working on? I'm designing a logo. What is the logo for? We're launching a new brand of shoes. Who is your target audience? Children. Why did I eat so much? Do you feel sick? Yeah, I think I need to lie down. You shouldn't lie down after eating. I think I need to go to the restroom. Let's skip dessert. No, I have room for dessert. I wish I had studied English more as a kid. What's wrong with your English now? My vocabulary isn't very good. You know most of the words. I have to look a lot of the words up in the dictionary when I read books. Maybe you're reading very difficult books. Carol! Why are you standing in the rain? I'm waiting for the bus. Do you need a ride? That would be great. I think I missed the bus. Get in the car. You're all wet. Thanks, Linda. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. May I help you? Yes. I need to get this filled. Okay. Do you have a prescription card? Yes. Here it is. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll wait here. Okay. Let's arrange a meeting for next week. Sounds good. How about Tuesday at 11 a.m.? That works for me. Shall we meet in my office? How about a lunch meeting? Even better. Let's meet at the restaurant across the street. We can negotiate our business contract then. We have great company perks. What are company perks? 
They are the extra things the company gives you besides your salary and basic benefits. What are your favorite perks? I like the paid vacation time and pension plan. We have a pension plan? That is rare these days. Today is my last day in this department. Where are you going? I'm transferring to a new department. Are you happy about that? Not really. I like being in customer service. But they need help in accounting. That's too bad. Just try to do your best in your new position. How are you doing? Great. What's up?、Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. What did you want to talk about? I just wanted to let you know that I'm moving out. When? In the next few days. I don't understand why you want to move. I'm going to school out of the state. I see. That'll be fine. Thanks for understanding. Yes, I'm fine with it. And here's an interesting custom from India. Let's hear it. There's a special Hindu water pouring ceremony during the wedding. And what happens? Well, when the Indian bride and groom are married, someone pours water all over both of them. Why do they do that? Uh, it says here that it brings the couple closer together. Interesting. Why are the police here? Cheryl is being arrested. Why? She was caught stealing. What did she steal? Money. A lot of money. How much? Over a million dollars. Wow. Cheryl is the vice president of the company. This scandal is going to make the news. May I help you? I'm returning a book. Do you need anything else? I also need to check out this video. This is all you want to check out? Just the video. I'm going to need your library card. I have it right here. You'll need to take care of the video. I will. We will fine you if you damage it. I get it. Thank you. I need your help. What do you need me to do for you? I want to transfer pretty soon. Where to? I'm applying to both NYU and UCLA. What do you need me to help you with? Could you write two letters of reference for me? Is that all that you need? It would mean a lot to me. I'll write a couple of letters for you. I really appreciate your help. Pick them up for me tomorrow. I need to get my high speed internet installed. You'll need to make an appointment. Could I do that right now, please? What day would you like us to do the installation? Is Friday good? We're only available at 3 p.m. You can't come any earlier than that? I'm sorry, that's the only available time. Are you available this Saturday? Yes. Anytime on Saturday will be fine. How does 11 sound? We can do it. See you then. Isn't it a nice day? It really is. It seems that it may rain today. Hopefully it will. How come? I like how clear the sky gets after it rains. I feel the same way. It smells so good after it rains. I especially love the night air when it rains. Really? Why? The stars look so much closer after it rains. I really want it to rain today. Yeah, so do I. Dad. I need help with my project. What do you need help with? Everything. Nothing is going right. What's wrong? My model keeps falling apart. It looks like your glue is not strong enough. This is the only glue I have. I have stronger glue in the garage. Let me get it. Thanks, Dad. Be very careful with it. This glue is very powerful. How are you? I'm fine. How can I help you? I need to get a haircut, so can I schedule an appointment? What day would you like to make the appointment? I was thinking Saturday. All right, let me check to see if we have any openings that day. That's fine. You can only make an appointment for Saturday morning. Is 10 30 okay? I'll pencil you in for that time. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll see you on Saturday. You look really nice today. Thank you. I just got this outfit the other day. Really? Where did you get it? I got it from Macy's. It's really nice. Thanks again. You look nice today, too. Thank you. I just got these shoes today. Really? What kind of shoes are they? These are called All Star Chuck Taylors. I really like those. How much did they cost? They were about $40. I think I'm going to go buy myself a pair. 
I need to find a bus that'll take me to the gold line. But where do you live? I live up in Altadena. The 264 will take you there. It goes all the way there? I know for a fact that it goes all the way to the station. What street would I catch it on? If you go to Altadena Drive, you can catch it there. I didn't know that bus went to the Gold Line station. Yep, it does. Well, thanks for letting me know. It was my pleasure. What can I do for you? I was looking for a book, but I couldn't find it. Did you check our database to see if it was on the shelf? I already did. Is it on the shelf? I didn't see it. Apparently somebody took that book out of the library. Will you ever get another copy? We will definitely be getting another. Could you please reserve it for me? That won't be a problem. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Did you hear the office rumor? No, I didn't. What's happening? They're going to lay off several people this month. Where did you hear this? I heard it from Bill. Are you worried? Yes. I've only been here for six months. Then I should be more worried than you. Why? Everyone likes you here. I've only been here for four months. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Sure. What time? How about 6 p.m.? That's perfect. I get off work at 5.30. I can pick you up at your apartment. There's a lot of construction going on in my neighborhood. Let's just meet at the restaurant. Okay. What kind of food do you like? I like all kinds of food. There's a great Italian place downtown. Sounds good. Let's go there. How much does it cost for a bus pass? It'll be $65 for a monthly pass. Is there anything cheaper than that? If you're in school, you can get a student pass. Well, I am. How much will that cost? The pass is free. I don't have to pay for anything? You'll only have to pay for the monthly sticker. How much is the monthly sticker? It's $24 for each month. I'll take the student bus pass. Okay, I will get you one. How is everything with you today? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Can I help you with something? I actually have a few questions about the apartment. What questions do you have? Is this apartment in a nice location? It is in a great location. Are there any stores near the apartment? You will find many stores and restaurants near the apartment. Really? I guarantee that the apartment is in a beautiful location. That sounds wonderful. Our company does not have very good perks. We have vacation time. My friend's company has paid vacation time, plus bonuses, retirement plans, gym memberships, maternity leave, and much more. Wow, we don't get any of those. I know. Maybe we should try to get a job there. I've tried. I applied three times and had no luck. Why? There are thousands of applicants every month. Do you smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was 18. So how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for 20 years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. But I had a hard time. If you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. How did you find your apartment? You can check on the bulletin board at school for local housing. What if I need a roommate? There are websites that can hook you up with a roommate. How much do apartments cost around here? It depends on what you want. Do you want a one or two bedroom apartment? I just need a one bedroom apartment. That will probably cost you around $1,200 a month. Would you come with me to look at apartments? I would be happy to look at apartments with you. What classes have you been taking? I've been taking my GE classes. That's it? That's all that I need right now. Why haven't you been taking any other classes? I'm taking classes so that I can transfer soon. What classes have you taken so far? I don't need to take any more English or math classes. How many GE classes do you have left? I have about three left. Good job. Yeah, I'm just about ready to transfer. 
I was meaning to talk to you about something. What's going on? Were you having a party in your apartment last Friday? Yes, I had a little party. It was very loud. I didn't intend on it being too loud. It's fine if you want to have people over, but I couldn't sleep with the noise. I really do apologize for all the noise. Next time, do you think that you could keep it down? Will do. Thank you very much. Okay, and once again, I'm sorry for keeping you up. Lucy, where is Todd? He's in the conference room. He's been waiting for you. Could you tell him my flight has been delayed? He's not going to be happy. He's been waiting for an hour. My flight isn't leaving for another hour. Okay, I'll let him know. Tell him I need to reschedule the meeting. I don't think I can tell him now. Why? He's not there. I think he left. I'll call him on his cell phone. It's my wife's birthday, and I'm going to buy her some flowers. Perhaps you'd be interested in red roses? How much do the roses cost? They're only $20 a dozen. That sounds good, since last year I paid $30. Yes, you're saving money because they're on sale today. I'll take a dozen of your most beautiful roses. Could I interest you in anything else? No. I'll just give her the roses and a card. She should be very pleased with these roses. So, what's on the menu for dinner tonight? You tell me. You're not going to make anything to eat? You never cook. I always do. I think you're a better cook than I am. Oh, please. You need to cook tonight. So, you're telling me that you want me to make dinner? It was a hard day. Can you just do this for me tonight? I'll cook dinner. Don't worry. I'm going to go rest for a little bit. I'll come wake you when it's ready, okay? Thanks. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. So, what are you planning to do on your vacation, Judy? Oh, I'm going to do something different this year. I went to Hawaii last year and just relaxed on the beach for two weeks. This year, I'm going whitewater rafting. Ooh, that sounds fun. But what is that exactly? Oh, well, they have these trips down the rapids. The water gets really rough, but I think it'll be really exciting. Oh, I'm doing some mountain climbing, too. And you call that a vacation? I need to speak with someone from the water company. Is there something I can do for you? Actually, there is something I need help with. How may I assist you? Well, I'm going to be moving in a few days. How can I assist you with your move? My water needs to be turned on. Okay. When exactly will you need this done? I need the water turned on no later than Saturday evening. I can have it turned on for you by then. What information do I need to give you to have that done? What I need is your social security number, full name, and your new address. Well, have you bought a place on the lake? Yes, we're having it decorated at the moment. Is it so? We've hired a professional to decorate the house and we gave them a free hand in doing our apartment over. Is your house the fine repair? Yes. The guest rooms will be furbished with luxurious carpets and fittings. You certainly seem to have cost a lot on the decoration of your house. Yes, it costs me quite some bucks. Could you help me to register for a class? Do you know what class you want to take? Are there any psych classes available? I believe there are still two psychology classes open. On what days are the classes? There is one class on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4. Can you tell me about the other class? It's from 10 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday. You're positive that these are the only classes left? These two are the only ones. The class on Monday and Wednesday will be fine. Very good. Hello? Sandy? Is that you? Yes, uh-huh. Who's this? 
It's Gil. Gil? Gil who? What do you mean, Gil who? Gil Dixon, of course. Oh, Gil. I'm sorry. Yes, we had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but, um, I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. I need help using the washer and dryer. Tell me, uh, what's the problem, miss? I can't figure out how to turn them on. Do you have some corners? I didn't know I needed change. The washer costs 50 cents and the dryer costs a dollar. Where do I put the change? The corners go into the slot. You have to push the slot in, and then the machine will turn on. Is that everything that I have to do? And that's all there is. I appreciate you helping me with this. And if you need anything else, just let me know. Are you new here? Yes, I am. Is this your first year in college? I actually transferred here from another school. Which school? I transferred from PCC. How do you like it here compared to PCC? I love it here. Do you like it better here or at PCC? Don't get me wrong. I like it here, but PCC is better. So, why did you leave PCC? Because I got my AA and am now working towards my bachelor's degree. Good morning. Could I speak with the manager, please? I am the assistant manager. Is there something I can help you with? The key you gave us to our apartment doesn't seem to be working. Did this key work okay for you before? We were using my roommate's key before I never really tried this one. Does the key seem to be long in that lock? It doesn't really fit at all. Try putting your key in the top lock one more time and turn it to the right. It works now, but it didn't work before. We have been having trouble with that lock. I will call a locksmith right away. Excuse me, sir. Didn't you see the red light? Oh, I thought I could make a right turn on red here. No, sir. The sign says no turn on red. Oh, I guess I didn't see it. I'm sorry, sir, but may I see your driver's license and insurance policy, please? I have to give you a ticket. Here they are. Sign here, please. You can appeal to the court within 14 days. This slip has all the information you need. Please drive safely, sir. Thank you, officer. Do you realize what time it is? I'm sorry, I lost track of time. Do you honestly believe that that is a good excuse? Not at all. That is what really happened. How many times do I have to ask you to call if you're going to be late? Yes, I know. I must have forgot. That's besides the point. You still should have called. You're right. I'm sorry. Next time you come in late without calling, you're gone. You're really going to kick me out? Yes. Maybe then you'll figure out how to follow the rules. Actually, if you kick me out, your rules won't matter anymore. Look, that man just fell down over there. Oh, God. We need to see if he's okay. Hey, man. Are you all right? He is not responding. We need to call an ambulance. Let me dial 911. 911 here. How can I help you? There is a man passed out. May I have your location, miss? Maple Street, near the church. Okay, miss. The ambulance will be there in two minutes. Please stay there. We'll find you. All right. Please hurry. Do you have any plans for the weekend? I haven't given it much thought. What were you thinking of doing? I was planning on taking a trip up the coast to the beach. What a perfect thing to do on a beautiful weekend. Would you like to come along? I think I would enjoy that a lot. When would we leave? Saturday morning around 8. Good. That would get us there with time to look around. There is a music festival in Santa Barbara on the beach that day. Yes! I was hoping to be able to go to the festival. I am so glad we talked. Thank you for inviting me to the beach with you. Does every floor have a laundry room? Each hallway has a laundry room located near the stairway. Are they open for use around the clock? 
The laundry room near the recreation center is open 24 hours a day. The rest have posted hours. Do I need to bring coins with me? The washers and dryers would require correct change, but there is a change machine in the laundry room. Are there any detergent dispensers in the laundry room? Yes, but they are expensive. Hmm, are there any specific rules about doing laundry? Yes, you're only supposed to tie up three machines at a time for your own use, so that the other machines are available for other tenants. I was wondering if you allow pets in this building. We do allow some pets, but you must pay an additional $500 security deposit. What kind of pets do you allow? You may keep either one cat or one dog. Can cats and dogs be outside? Cats can be outside, but we want them collared or tagged so we know who they belong to. Dogs must be on a leash and are not allowed in the flower beds. Are there any special places nearby that I can walk my dog? There is a dog park down the block. Do many other tenants in this building have pets? Not too many, but you shouldn't have any trouble finding someone to share walks with. What do you base our grades on? All of the coursework is important, including everything from attendance and homework to all of your test results for this semester. Does the final count the most? All of it is important. Please just do your best at all times. How do you total our scores? The final and midterm are 20% each. Homework, attendance, and quizzes are the rest. What if we are out sick? Make sure you contact me as I will only allow one unexcused absence. How can we know if we are doing okay during the year? Your grade will not be a surprise. You will know what you need to work on. Great! So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Hello. Hello. Is this Taxi Service Center? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I'm going to the airport tomorrow. I want to book a taxi. Okay. Can you tell me when you need it? My flight is at 10 o'clock in the morning, so I think the taxi should pick me up at 7.30. 7.30 a.m. No problem. Where can the driver find you tomorrow morning? Number 345 York Street. By the way, do I need to pay any extra for my suitcases? Yes, you are charged $1 apiece. I see. Thank you. Hi, I would like to speak with someone in the housing department. You have reached the right area. Can I help you with something? I think that I may have experienced discrimination in trying to rent an apartment. Can you be specific as to what type of discrimination? I felt that he didn't like me because I wasn't the same race that he was. How come you feel it was race that was the issue? When I showed up on his doorstep, he seemed bothered by my appearance. Is there anything else that made you feel he was using race as a factor in who he rented to? As I walked through the apartment building, all I saw were people who were the same race as the manager. It is not easy to prove racial discrimination, but please go to our website, which can help you file a formal complaint. We would like to stop by again so we can show you some more problems that have come up with our apartment. I'm kind of busy right now, but maybe later next week I could stop by? We sent you an email the first week we moved in. It listed the problems we found. What problems did you find? The roof leaks when it rains, there is mold on the bedroom walls, and the dishwasher doesn't work. I don't really consider any of that to be my responsibility. You can fix those things yourself. What? Maintaining basic health and safety standards is your responsibility. I am maintaining the building. You, you are way too picky. Oh, unfortunately, you won't be getting a rent check unless these problems are fixed by Friday. You wouldn't dare do that. 
Hello? Hi, Carol. This is Jane. What are you doing today? I have to go to the mall. I broke my phone. What happened? I dropped it outside on the concrete ground. Oh, no, that's terrible. I hope it can be fixed, or I have to buy a new one. Would you like me to go with you? Sure. If they can't fix it, maybe you can help me pick out a new phone. Okay. Do you want to have lunch together afterwards? I don't think I will have time. I have to pick up my children from school at 3 p.m. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow is better. Where do you want to go? You pick the restaurant. It will be my treat since you're having a bad day. Thanks. That's so nice of you. My pleasure. Let's go check out the phone store. Raymond! Oh, hi, Grace. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been to Toronto for a few days. Yes, I just got back yesterday. Did you have a nice visit? Really nice. It was very good going around downtown and shopping. And I saw the Toronto Blue Jays game at Sky Dome. It seems that Toronto is a very exciting city. My brother Stanley was there, too. You've met Stanley, haven't you? Sure. I met him when he was here in Hamilton last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching baseball? Yes. As a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Great. How's everything with his kids? Have you met my nieces? Yes. They visited you once in the summer, didn't they? Right. They're both fine. I haven't seen them in a long time. They must be really big. Well, they will come over this Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas party together. That's a good idea. Could we go over some things? Because I think my test score is wrong. What do you think is wrong? The math or the way you answered was scored? Both. I am willing to take a second look because teachers make mistakes too. Will that work for you? Yeah, I'm ready. Check your answers against the ones on the answer sheet and let me know where you see the mistake. These look strange. Yes, I agree. Let's move on to calculating of the score. Would that be okay? Okay, let's do the calculation. We add all of these up and divide by this, and that gives us the, this percentage. I see. Anytime you have a question, please feel free to ask. How do I buy my textbooks? Do you have your book list for your class? Yes, I have my list. Fine. Once you have it, you can go to the bookstore. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know where the bookstore is. Okay, so once you pass the gym, it's the first store on your left. Do you know you can also sell your used textbooks there? No, I didn't know I could do that. You just take them with you and trade them with the used textbook man just outside the door. Do you think you'll be going there today? Yes, I am going today. Well, if you decide to go... I could meet you over there at 1 today or tomorrow to help. Would that work for you? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Well then, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Hi, Jim. How are you? Olivia here. Hi, Olivia. What's going on? I just wanted to give you notice that I'm moving. Oh, that's too bad. What's the moving date? I'll be gone on the last day in June. Can I ask why you're moving? I've been looking for a long time, and I finally found a good job. Very good. What's your new job? I'm going to teach ESL at Pasadena City College. Good for you. What does ESL stand for? ESL is English as a Second Language. Well, I'm glad you don't feel you're being chased out by your neighbors. Their TV is so loud, you'd think they were stone deaf. I'll tell them one more time to turn down their TV. Then I'm going to evict them. Thanks for all your help over the past few years. Thanks. Good luck with your new neighbors and your new job. What happened, Mark? A tree fell during the windstorm and hit my house. Wow. Is everyone okay? Yes. Luckily, we weren't home at the time. Yes, you are very lucky. I know. It was the big tree in our yard. I can't believe it. Will insurance cover the repair costs? I hope so. I'm waiting for the insurance guy to come right now. What are you going to do? Do you have a place to stay while your house gets fixed? Yeah, we're going to stay at my parents' house. They don't live far from here. That's good. I really liked that tree. It was so big and beautiful. And now it's in my living room.
You're a strong man if you can joke about it. Well, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. I would be crying right now. Believe me, Stan, I am crying on the inside. Can I tell you a secret, Allison? Sure. What is it, Sean? Is something wrong? I'm afraid to graduate. Why? That's silly. College was easy for me. Now we have to go out and find a real job. That's the best part. We are finally adults. Aren't you scared at all? No. I'm excited to work and plan my future. I feel so immature. Well, you are acting a little immature. It's time to grow up, Sean. I know. Studying and taking tests were easy. Now we have to work for the rest of our lives. You sound lazy. You're a really smart guy. You're going to have a great life. Thanks for your encouragement. I feel silly. You are being silly. If you are so scared of leaving school, why don't you go to graduate school? That's a great idea. It actually is. You'll get a better job with a graduate degree. Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam, from near Hanoi. And when did you move here? I came here after I graduated from college. That was in 1998. And what do you do now? I work for a communications company. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. That's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Jennifer, are you going to join the choir club? No, Nancy, I'm not. Why? You have such a beautiful voice. I'm too shy. You sing so well, you could probably get a solo. Thanks for the compliment. I'm scared to sing in front of an audience. You're wasting your talent. If I could sing like you, I would join the choir. My mom said the same thing. You should think about it again. What if I get on stage and I freeze? Maybe this is a great way to overcome your fear. I do love singing. Then you should join. You'll make a great addition to the club. Okay, let me think about it. The choir teacher thinks you should join. How does she know? She's never heard me sing. Yes, she has. I recorded your singing and let her listen to it. You did? Did she like it? She loved it. She said you have an amazing voice. Who is the creative person that you admire? Well, I really admire Mr. Tom, who is an extremely creative math teacher. Why do you admire him? For me, math is quite boring because I have to work with long numbers. I used to hate math so much before I had lessons with Mr. Tom. He has thousands of ways to teach that boring subject, which inspires me a lot. How did he become so creative? I'm not quite sure, but I think that's his inborn talent. Do people you know admire him too? Of course, all my classmates just love and respect him for his creative teaching. What is he like? He has a good sense of humor. He always tells jokes, and we just can't help laughing. Do you think creativity can be learned and practiced? Yes, I definitely do. How is creativity important in study or work? It generates energy and makes things more inspiring. Without creativity, work and study are just dull and tiring. Yes, this is John Smith. John, this is Terry Evans. I called to tell you I have good news. Great, what is it? The owner has approved your rental application. He enjoyed talking to you. That's great. He seemed like a really nice guy. Now, before you can move in, you need to pay some fees. Fees? What kind of fees? You know, first and last month's rent and security deposit. Oh, those fees. 
first and last is two thousand five hundred, and the deposit is a thousand. Just send me a check for three thousand five hundred. No problem. What's your address? Send it to thirty thirty five East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, nine one one zero seven. So, when can I move in? The first of next month. Just stop by my office and pick up your keys. Very good. Let me have your phone number. Sure. It's sixty six five 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 three zero zero zero. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. I think I am finally going to get a cell phone. You don't have a cell phone? No, I didn't think it was necessary. But now I think I should get one. What made you decide to get one now? My car broke down in the middle of the road last night, and I had to walk to the nearest payphone to call a friend. It was scary walking alone at night. Yeah, cell phones are very convenient. You know what kind you want to get. Just a basic one. I don't need anything fancy. You want a smartphone? What is that? You don't know what a smartphone is? No. Can you explain it to me? A smartphone is a cell phone that also has computer features. You have email and internet access. I don't need those things. I don't even have an email address. You don't have an email address? No. Then how do you send written communication to other people? I write and mail letters. Wow, that's amazing! People don't mail letters anymore. But I think I will get a cell phone, just in case of an emergency. That's a good idea. Welcome to modern technology, Ruth. What are you doing today? Hi, Peter. I'm taking my son to the bank. He got his first paycheck yesterday. So we're going to open a bank account for him. That's a great idea. Yeah, I hope this will teach him how to save money and use it wisely. We did that with our kids too. Is he excited about it? Not really. He wants to spend it all on video games. Well, it's his first paycheck, so I'm sure he wants to spend his own money. I understand that. He knows he can spend it any way he wants to. I just want him to be able to learn how to save some too. Yeah. I totally understand. My first son spent his whole paycheck each time. Now he doesn't have anything saved. My second son saves and saves. I'm hoping Jonathan saves and saves. Now my older son always borrows money from his younger brother. Wow! Does your younger son loan him money? Yeah, but he adds on interest. That's funny and smart. He's like a bank. He wants to be a banker one day. This is giving him great experience. Yeah, but not a great relationship with his brother. Hello. Hi, mom. This is Linda. Hi, Linda. Why are you calling so early in the morning? Is something wrong? No, not at all. Actually, I have some good news. What is it? I'm having a baby. That's great news. When did you find out? Last night, it was too late to call you. I thought you might be sleeping. You can call me any time, Linda. How does Dan feel? He's so happy. He went out this morning to buy the baby a gift. Already? That is funny. When is the baby due? In June. I am three months pregnant. How are you feeling? 
Do you feel sick at all? Just a little. Are you able to eat anything? Yeah, I'm actually really hungry right now. Let me come over and make you something to eat. Mom, let's go out for breakfast. I'll treat you. Don't be silly. I'll buy you breakfast. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay, Mom. See you at 8 a.m.